Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Ingram Jones, and welcome to the uh, Bayloric TV uh, post fight. Nathan Cleverly versus Jurgen Bremer. Got people ready in the room talking. So let's see what we've got in the room and see what we've got to say for themselves. Okay. First of all, I'll start the show by saying congratulations to Nathan Cleverly. Um, Jim Wilson's in the room. Respect to Nathan Cleverly, but he seems to win everything by default. Vacant British, vacant European, vacant Commonwealth, interim WB upgrade to full by fighting shite opposition before Kovalev. Now wins a regular fake world title by injury when I had him losing four points, four rounds to two on the cards. I blame the WBA, not the fighters, for making these stupid regular interim belts and parading people as world champs when they should be number one contenders for the WBA instead. Bremer would get KO'd by Kovalev and Stevenson too. Some strong words there by Jim Wilson. Uh, Red Sox fan, our Red Sox says, I agree, Jim Wilson there should be only one regular champion. WA is stupid to have a super regular champion. Congratulations to Nathan Cleverly, says our Red Sox. No doubt, says Jim Wilson. Okay, well, let's get into this. We're we talking about Nathan Cleverly. Um, my prediction for the fight, if you go back and look at my pre-fight prediction for Cleverly versus Bremer, I said that I felt that, that Cleverly only boxes, he boxes the same way in every single fight. He takes way too many punches. And I said if Bremer starts finding that a home for the left hand early, this could be problems for Nathan Cleverly. Again, what did I tell you in the, in the build to this fight? If you look at my pre-fight prediction, I said that Cleverly does a lot of this stuff inside work. It's just pitter patter punches a lot of pitter patter punches a lot of those punches cleverly was throwing you watch Bremer, it was catching his arms catching the gloves that's not scoring punches the punches that Bremer was landing were hard shots to cleverly's head knocking cleverly's head back all the time the straight left hand the shots to the body nice crisp clean shots at no point in time did Bremer look hurt in the fight but there were times in the fight where you could see noticeably where Bremer caught cleverly and backed him up um nathan cleverly boxes the same way in every single fight he has no change of uh, he, he boxes the same way every every time so he's just one dimensional cleverly and if what he does doesn't work then you can get to him and to me before that fight was coming to a close it looked like it was cleverly that was slowing down not bramer because bramer was starting to put his punch together more it looked like cleverly was actually slowing down he wasn't throwing them stupid combinations with us and they weren't really com com they weren't really spectacular um combination punches it was like on a heavy bag you see people in a heavy bag just do it. i've never understood why people do that on a heavy bag just do that and i've seen mayweather do it sometimes but i think he does that more for show than anything else behind closed doors i think he does something very different but you see just cleverly doing this just doing that you know i just didn't see any any sort of you didn't see how effective it was he says, oh, yeah, I was breaking Jürgen Bremer down. No, you weren't. You weren't breaking Jürgen Bremer down at all. It looked to me like Jürgen Bremer was getting on top of the fight. He was actually finding, he, he, he was trying the first two rounds, trying to find his range. He said, okay, let's see what this guy's speed like. Let's see what his punching power's like. Let's see if I can find gaps. Oh, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing space for left hand there. I'm seeing space for left hand there. Okay, and put, let me put this punch together. Yeah, that combination works. That doesn't quite work. So he was, Jürgen Bremer has 12 rounds to work a fight out not six rounds. So he saw the first two rounds were cleverly got onto the front foot, trying to throw a punch, putting the right punches together, but still getting caught. So for me, I had uh, Bramer up four rounds to two going in, but let's see what people are saying here. Uh, our Red Sox says, I think cleverly hurt him with a little body shot the round before he retired in stall. He says, uh, Joe Reed says, hilarious how polar opposite your analysis is to skies yeah i mean i just it was, i mean sky look this is the same sky team look 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 at the sky team tonight sky started their night by saying klitschko had a bad night against tyson fury not the fact that klitschko was out box comprehensively a box from eight rounds to four not the fact that, that uh tyson making miss and making pay not the fact that he was making uh klitschko reach not the fact that he was taking klitschko out of his comfort zone not the fact that Tyson Fury took Klitschko apart 
and a boxing ability and took him took him to school none of that is mentioned he had a bad night he had a bad night so that makes Cody look bad they say that about Tyson Fury and then the next minute they're looking at uh David Price and say oh David Price opponent well he, you know he doesn't learn much from this and he needs to step up with an opposition and well hold a second you're critical of Price and you can give a good analysis of price but you can't give a proper analysis of fury and let's move on further then you talk about Jürgen Bremer hold on Jürgen Bremer's older but Jürgen Bremer hasn't been knocked out Jürgen Bremer hasn't been beaten up and I argue with someone else on Twitter Twitter somebody said to me that they didn't see belly belly beat up cleverly I saw him cleverly on the ropes taking a lot of punishment on the ropes round after round that's considered getting beaten up for me he got beat up against Fonfara, just hands up, taking a whole load of punches, busting up his nose. But I guess people see things differently for me. So at world level, who is cleverly actually beat? They say, oh, well, you know what? Brain was a protected champion. Well, I'd say Navy Cleverly was a protected champion. WBO champion for nobody really in the top 10. He beat cleverly, uh, he beat, beat Bellew, but that was by a, a whiskers. I thought um, Bellew beat cleverly in that night by about a round okay so he didn't outbox I mean who of world level has Nathan cleverly ever outbox I'm talking world level he didn't outbox Kovalev he didn't outbox from Farah he didn't outbox Bellew those are his three biggest fights so talk to me who has cleverly outboxed for him to go to Germany and say yeah he's gonna outbox a brainer when you look at guys fights I like to look at the history about them I like to see fighters um i like to see i like to see a history of what they've done okay this is what you've done so far okay let me see where you've outboxed somebody okay i've seen you take something down. like they see i think a lot of things are cleverly is because he was was very connected to um joe kazaki and joe kazaki we know was a master of outboxing guys okay and changing up and switching up you saw the fight we had against um uh, What's the guy's name again? Oh, I can see my head now. Oh, I can see now. The, 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 ah, oh, Kessler. Mikko Kessler. I saw Mikko Kessler catch Kazaki with an uppercut and hurt him in the fight. And I saw him then take, make the adjustments and then completely shut Kessler down. Never in, in any of uh, Cleverly's fights have you seen him make adjustments on the fly. So, okay, let's, uh, Let's, uh, let's let's go back up here and let's see what's going on here. As for David Price, what the hell was that guy doing in the ring? You know, I think everybody, that opponent that was in the ring with Price tonight, those respects, I think every boxing gym should have that guy, a guy, a, they should make a punching bag with that guy's face and that guy's body with hands up like that. He was what you call a walking punching bag with arms. That's what that guy was tonight. Nothing more, nothing less. David Price has probably fought better opposition in his making his pro debut than against this guy here that he fought tonight. Absolutely terrible. Um, let's see what people are saying. Our Red Sox fans says, also, I think Cleverly's corner should have told him to dip and throw left hook to the head and overhand right. Then his, his corner can't do that. I don't think his corner is that great, personally. Uh, Sky's uh, analysis is pathetic, says Rob Sawyer. Um, our Red Sox fan says, Fury outboxed him. Sky is wrong. I know. Uh, Jim Wilson, Sky's analysis is disgusting. He's losing, but his work rate is great. Yeah, I know. The price fight was awful, says Al Red Sox. Ian Bill says, evening people. Bit of a strange night in, in Germany time, indeed. Uh, hi, Ian. He says, uh, Popo says, this evening I hope Eddie Hearn can play Charles Martin with Klitschko. Uh, Matt Master D says, Why you blocked me on Twitter? Probably I didn't. Somebody else is running our Twitter account. Uh, Tyson V says, What's up, Ingram? Dude, uh, another good show. True facts. Yes, it is true facts, Tyson. Uh, keep calm, boxer. Hi, Baylor. Yeah, I scored the same as you. I, as you, I predicted. Uh, I predict a cleverly win. He was very lucky, though, and he knows it. Uh, Ian Beale says price does hit hard though and if he lands first it's lights out for miles I agree about those things I agree I think price is a world-class puncher but I'm not sure if opponents like that guy are going to do him any favors 
Um, yes, Price does, does, but that fight was awful and couldn't have helped him much. He could be Bremer, the mutant looking fucker has cost me money. See, I had somebody on Twitter say, you got it wrong. I said, well, I think I, I didn't put in my prediction at any point in time that Inju would stop the fight. I said that Braymore would stop cleverly. And the way it was looking was Braymore was on his way to stopping cleverly later on in that fight. Getting caught with too many uh, straight punches, straight straight left hands, and getting caught with body shots. Cleverly seemed to be slowing for me. I think Braymore, round nine and ten, would have, I looked for Braymore to stop him, nine or ten, because I think Braymore would have upped his work right. Cleverly was slowed. He was like putting his hands up, soaking up the punches like he did against Fonfara, like he did against Bellew, and that's where he would have got stopped. Because you can't keep taking heavy shots from a guy. Um, Alvarez says Kazaki was on the best. Hell, hell. Uh, Joe Kazaki. Um, uh, Venomex says, I love you. Thank you, Venomex. Uh, Mark says, Kazaki didn't fight anyone. Eubank, Kessler, Lacey, Hopkins, and RJJ. I don't know what you're going with that. Um, Jim Wilson, Braymer has a rematch clause. Yeah, he has got a rematch clause. Maybe he makes double the amount of money. Maybe he thinks, you know what? I can win this fight. Let me give this guy the title. He's got a rematch clause. I come back and kick his ass when he comes back to Germany. Or I might make more money going and fight. I have to fight the O2 arena. I kick, I kick Clever his ass in the UK. Who knows? Nobody knows what the hell that's all about. Uh, Jim Wilson says, people forget that at the time, David Price was the second man apart from Klitschko to drop Thompson. Good point. He dropped Thompson in the second fight before getting stopped. Price is world-class power in that right hand. I agree. And Marky Beer says, Vic's fight. Possibly. It's all about confidence and Price, I reckon. Uh, Ingram, tell me about Cleverly's corner. They didn't, they didn't tell him anything to adapt the dip and hook. I would have thought that would have worked. Cleverly's corner, they're the same corner and the same trainer that's getting him to, to throw absolutely pointless punches. Pointless. There's a, there's a game show called Pointless. I think they should have get Nathan Cleverly there throwing punches like he does. Absolutely pointless punches. They're not scoring punches. They're what I call dangerous punches. Because when you're doing that, they're not counting for anything. And when your hands are in a position like this, I don't you see the camera. If your hands are in a position like this, you're not protecting yourself. So you're open to a left hook or right hand, which is which is just anyway. Just imagine doing that against someone like Sergey Kovalev. Just imagine. And Sergey Kovalev launching out of a position like this to throw a left hook while you're doing that. The the results are devastating. So percentages. When you throw punches, you're throwing punches with percentages. How much chances am I taking throwing these punches? And Clary doesn't put that in. Clary is not very clever. He's not very clever. He's very he's not very clever in, in the way he throws his punches. Not very clever. He puts himself in the line to get knocked out all the time because he's throwing these shots that are not effective. They're not hurtful punches. They're not breaking anybody down. They're actually laying you up to get knocked out because you are in a range where your hands are down. You're vulnerable. They say protect yourself at all times. You're vulnerable. Your chin's in the air. You're throwing these shots. I think it's very, 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 very dodgy. Very, very dodgy. But, hey, you know what? There are people out there tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, didn't, uh, didn't fight anyone in comparison to Frotch, I meant. Oh, okay. Uh, Hartley Marshall says, Yo, Ingram, hope you're well, brother. I'm very good, brother. Hope you're well. Uh, Jim Wilson looks fixed to me. Hearn and Sal and Greasy Palms and Money and Pounds. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Clemens Trainer looks like he works in Sports Direct. <laughs> Guys, make me laugh. Um, so Josh and Price will fight. Sal and Hearn connection. LOL. I thought tonight, the only reason why Price was on that show, I'm kind of trying to think now the Hearn way. There's a, there's a, there's a, what's it called again? There's, there's a mole. There's a, what they, there's a word they keep throwing up all the time. There's a way, there's a plan of how the herd, herd works. And if you're on Sky and you're boxing on Sky, there's either one or two reasons you're on Sky. You're boxing on Sky because they're lining up a big fight for you to get your ass kicked. Or they're lining up your, your ass for you to kick someone. All right? That is how it is. And in the case of David Price, the only reason why I think he's on Sky is because he's a backup option to if the Joshua Klitschko fight don't happen. Because people can say, Kern can say, 
but the last time we saw him box was on Sky. Take it from me. We've seen it happen before. Um, he beat a prime Kessler, which Frotch lost badly to his first fight. Agreed. Frotch was a legend too. Can't talk about fights when it's never, it never happened. It's an unwillable conversation. Uh, Frotch didn't lose too badly. Oh, he lost badly against Ward. Marky B is a strange internet fight. Looked fixed to me. Just watched it back. Marky B, I wonder why Home was there. Holmes got three options. Clitch, go, Price, Parker. Well, I forget Parker. Take him out next. Park, Park, Price and Klitsch go. Think Hearn earns with uh, cleverly. Yeah, he does. He got, he did, got schooled, old school. Harley Marshall's cleverly won the lottery. Very lucky Ingram was getting schooled. He was indeed. I imagine Hearn saying Klitsch go was too hard to deal with and Parker needs time. So step in Sugar Ray Price. <laughs> you can see it, can't you? I know he is, but it's like they knew something, says uh, Marky B.N. Any heard Eiffel vid will come, will be coming goal after tonight. Yeah, it will be. Carford said he would fight with a broken arm, blames his two losses on Ash Cloud and fighting near Christmas. Well, there you go. The, the, the warrior himself speaks, Carl Frotch. So I think yeah, there's, lots, <laughs> there's lots of us to talk about, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know quite where to begin. But I'll tell you something. Darren Barker and Spencer Oliver, I swear, you can just put hashtag agenda. Because, I mean, how you can be just so... And Ed Robinson. I mean, Ed Robinson should know better. Come on, Ed. Come on, Ed. Come on, Ed. You should know better, Ed. Come on. Come on, Ed. How can you turn and say that Klitschko bot? Klitschko was a poor Klitschko that night. How can you say it was a poor Klitschko that night? Where? Oh, oh, the reason I think Parker is still viable be option because he will get one month training since he just fought. What do you think of it? increases AJ's chances? Look, I don't see what the hell the big hype about Parker is about? Yes, he can punch. He is defensively a liability. Defensively. It's all right frame punch against guys, not frame punch. And let's go back and talk about our Parker fight a second. I do want to pick that Parker fight up a second. I think, I have to say this year, that was an illegal blow. That blow, to me, seemed the sort of blow you could get disqualified for. If I'm correct, if I'm right and correct, didn't Roy Jones Jr. get disqualified and lost lost his first fight against Montel Griffith for something just as bad? It's illegal. That was an illegal blow. I hope they turn around and make that fight a non-contest. I really do. I want to see Paul Smith's next fight get announced. Someone got a big bet on him, all winning world titles. Uh, Fika says, do you think, who do you think writes the pundit scripts? I bet it's that poor bastard Adam Smith who was locked on who was locked under the stairs. I listen, I interviewed Adam Smith and I said, listen, is there gonna be any bias coming from Sky? There's no, I mean, no bias coming from Sky in these mouth watering fights. There mean no there'll be no bias from Sky tonight or any night. Adam, you lied. Uh what are your views on the whole Tyson Fury saga? Have you got any more interviews lined up with Team Fury? Well, I think in a nutshell, I uh Briefly spoke to Peter Fury today, and his response, I said, what do you think about this? Nothing really. So I think for Fury fans or for supporters of Team Fury, my suggestion and my gut feeling is now, ignore the, ignore the media as much as you can and just wait until the hearing. I think between now and the hearing, we'll hear a whole load of stuff, but the hearing is what really matters. Um, yeah, just wait until we wait for the hearing. And you heard it tonight from Eddie Hearn. Did you not hear Eddie Hearn talking about, oh, for it to be for all the belts? Did I not tell you this over Twitter? Have I not said this to you over a Facebook? Have I not said this to you on YouTube? Klitschko, Joshua will happen. I've said it to you. And I've also said, if they can strip Tyson of all the belts, 
That is what they want, and that's what they're waiting for. I've said it to you before. You heard me say here. You heard me say to you since last week Sunday, right? So don't let anybody tell you it's breaking news that Klitschko Joshua was being made. I told you this last last Sunday when Klitschko last Sunday was making a decision as to who would go for Joshua or Brown last Sunday. I told you this, guys. I told you it, right? And the only thing that's holding this fight now, don't worry about Klitschko's negotiations or Joshua's negotiations. They are looking, like Peter Fuse said, they're looking to get Tyson stripped of all the belts. That is what they want. Klitschko wants those belts. Hear me now. He wants those belts. And if he doesn't have to fight Fuse to get those belts and fight Joshua, trust me, he'll fight Joshua because Joshua is the easier option. But, hey, you know, the Joshua bandwagon will go on. That's what people are saying. Uh, if Parker fights that against AJ, he won't go past three rounds. Listen, if if Joseph Parker lands on... Remember, you've got to say to yourself, what does AJ look like when so he puts him on the back foot and he's throwing punches at him? You saw what happened against Dillian White. Didn't look great when Dillian White started landing punches back on AJ. That is what you need to be asking yourself the question. I'm not talking about AJ when he's moving forward and nobody's throwing punches at him. Or the opposition's poor. When somebody's young and hungry and determined and wants to fight and wants to go out there and really and has the and has the ability to land punches. That is how you need to be analyzing the fight. Not analyzing AJ based on the, the, the Martin fight or the Brazil fight where Brazil was stuck in mud. But even so, Brazil gave a little movement and he was making AJ miss. So these are things you need to look at as well, boxing fans. Uh, Jim was, I don't think Parker's too great myself. He does not have one punch KO power and he's very bad defensively, but he's a very good prospect and he's more and he's more tested than AJ. That is true. A, um, Parker's fought better opposition than AJ. That's a fact. I'd like to see how AJ would do against someone like Takam, for example. Uh, mind games. Uh, my, if he wasn't such a dickhead, he'd be a legend. Um, WBO is Frank's best friend. Uh, Jim Wilson says, AJ versus Parker, who lands first exciting fight is? Klitschko, Liam Buck says, Klitschko beats Joshua, I think. Technique over speed. I agree. Uh, Parker is a top heavyweight. He would give Joshua problems. Agreed. Jim Wilson says, who is also Bob Aaron's best friend? Oh, wait. Doesn't he promote Ruiz Jr.? Maybe that's why they pulled him out of the Huey fight. Maybe they knew that the WBO were going to strip Tyson. So they pulled out of the fight against Huey to fight for the WBO heavyweight championship against Parker. This world boxing is so dodgy and just so corrupt. You never know what's what, you know, those people. You really know what's what. But I would listen to what Pete, go back and listen to me with Peter Fury and listen to what he's saying about the governing bodies. And listen, listen to the governing bodies and the squealing rats, I believe Peter Fu is talking about, is he's talking about the people who are trying to take the belts off of Tyson Fury. They're all trying to take the belts off of Tyson Fury. They're all trying to take the belts off of Tyson Fury. That's what's happening. Watch carefully the, 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 uh, the uh, what's his name? The Eddie Hearn that you all love up so much. The Eddie Hearn that you all think he's like God and can't do anything wrong. It's the same Eddie Hearn that now he's trying to strip Tyson his belts. They want those belts. It's about making money. That's what it's about. Truth be said. Um, so, to me tonight, being brutally honest, Parker should have got disqualified tonight. Should have got disqualified. Um, people say I'm anti. A, a, listen, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, what I call cyber bullying. Let me get my let me let me talk to you guys. Let me really get into you guys. Let me drop some knowledge on you guys tonight. <clears throat> Cyber bullying, we must stop it. And it's happening in boxing a lot. Let me get this camera down and talk to you guys properly tonight. We'll talk to you about cyber bullying. And I'll tell you what cyber bullying is. When people say, Are you anti matron or are you pro fury? People are putting you in a box. So you can't move out that box. You can't be either this, you've got to either be this all that i'm anti-bullshit that's what i am that that's what it is all right don't 
Don't look me in the eye and try and make a fool of me and try and tell me crap. Don't don't go on the TV and tell me a guy is four rounds up when he's clearly getting his ass out boxed. Don't don't tell me that. So I'll, I'll call you on your bullshit. Don't tell me that Klitsch guy had a poor night when he was clearly out boxed. The best of Klitsch guy wasn't good enough. He fought a guy that was bigger than him. He fought a guy that had longer reach than him. He fought a guy that had better footwork than him. He fought a guy that had better IQ than him. He fought a guy that put his hand behind his back and said, hit me. And he still couldn't hit him. These are my points, right? So I'm not pro fury or, or, or anti matron How can I be anti matron when I interview people like Jake Ball? He's a matron fighter, is he not? It's not about being anti matron anti-bullshit. And some people don't want to accept certain things. Some people are like sheep. If the promoter says it, it's the truth. No, it's not. Talks absolute garbage. How can you say, yeah, you know, Parker's going to take his fight next. It's next month. When you know, you down will know Klitschko's negotiating for the fight. What does Parker bring to the, what does Parker bring to the table? He's fought in New Zealand. He's not even fought in the UK. Then you've got Klitschko, who's world renowned. I, I don't understand. People are not thinking about this. Uh, Jim Will says, Hearn talks a lot of nonsense when, whilst Warren has dodgy cancellations and talks rubbish himself. Same with all promoters. I don't agree with Peter Fury, who also states Andy Ruiz is top five in the world. That left talk might make him top five. I don't know. Sanctioned bodies, yes, but universally, no. Uh, CC2971, Tyson is a complex character. He can't act. He's too real for the sport to take. I agree. Uh, being a greedy, lying fraud is as good as, as as key to being a good promoter. Go back again and listen to my interview with, Pete, uh, with, with Eddie Hearn. I'm going to ask some of you boxing fans, why do you listen to interviews? Do you watch interviews for the crack? Do you listen to interviews to hear a one-liner? Do you listen to interviews for sensationalism? Or do you listen to interviews to actually pick up on what a, a person's saying and what they're not saying? Yes, I think Klitschko beats AJ, hands down. Um, Klitschko, AJ will be fighting the guy, he's put a guy with the best jab in the world, I would say the best jab in the world, one of the best right hands in the business, better footwork. I mean, AJ hasn't fought nobody remotely as good as Klitschko. Um, not in November anyway. No, I don't think so. Ingram, Eddie will get the first shot of those tiles. Karate promoter. Yeah. Behind the scenes info, of course. Clearly style, still the still the same. Barely has evolved his style, so, so, better, so better in my opinion. Clearly still has no defense. I said it, he's got no defense. I think Klitschko carries AJ. Then Sky can build him up against it. It's too early. Eddie Hearn voice. He can come again, mate. That's what's going to happen. Listen, I told you the model. That's the word. Not mold, the, the sky model. The sky model is the cash cow gets thrown in against the best in the world. Let me say that. I went back and watched Brook versus, Brook versus Gennady Golovkin. Brook's work rate is too little. He doesn't work enough. He doesn't put enough punches together consistently at a high work rate. If he worked at a high work rate, let me tell you, Canelo's going to run straight through Kel Brook if they fight. He'll run straight through him. He'll run straight through him. Um, and Sky mentioned, and Jim Wilson continues, Eddie was two to, to deliver numbers for Sky. AJ versus, what, Vlad versus Sky makes money for Sky. Listen, Peter Free said it in the interview. Sky's numbers with AJ. They're not through the roof. Sky want big fights. They're fed of AJ fighting bums. They want him to fight something. Decent, go back and listen to what Peter Fury is saying. So, uh, Notorious Box says, I hate seeing Cleverly taking clean shots and throwing arm punches. Cringy as F. I've, I've, I've said it. I said it was going to happen. Would you eat your, your shorts at AJ Outbox Vlad and one on points? Uh, 
Brock's reputation has gone ever since losing to GGG. One, Chrome doing what? Losing. Losing. I, I don't. The standards are dropping people in boxing. People's credibility grows when they beat people of note, not when they lose. But it seems that the, the sky has got you caught into this. Well, if you lose, it's okay. You've gone back into the typical British mentality of the taking part that counts. No, it's not the damn taking part that counts. It's about winning world titles. It's about being a champion. Because you're then you're discrediting guys that go out there and fight and go on and win world titles and do well. Well, in that case, then, Klitschko versus Fury, oh, well, it's just the taking part that counts. Bull, sorry. But don't subscribe to that model. Sorry. Um, AJ will turn into into the Bruno. He loses, but he's a, the people's golden boy. There you go. Bruno all over again. I went back and watched Bruno's fights. Right? I went back and watched him when he fought Tyson the first time. Go back and watch Bruno's corner. I watched the way uh, Mark, Mickey Duck was talking about Frank Bruno. It's the same way that any Hearn's talking about AJ. Go back. History repeats itself. They've got a big, strong guy, just like Bruno. And they're doing the same crap with Bruno, keeping him based in the UK, not out in America, with uh, Terry Lawless. This one's with Tibbs or Tibbs Sims. I'm telling you, it's the same thing all over again. And then he, then he gets not beat up and knocked out. And then they rebuild him again. Look, they're afraid AJ to... Listen, I don't even think AJ wants this fight. I don't think he thinks he's ready for uh, Josh uh, for for Klitschko. Don't think so. I think he's been pushing to the fight. And they say, "Oh, the people around AJ are are looking after AJ." No, they're not looking after their back pocket. Truth be said, they're looking after their back pocket. I'm telling you, people, listen, those people, Eddie Hearn, and his and Matchroom, they're looking after their pocket and looking after pay per view. Hearn, Hearn has somebody to answer to, and that somebody has to answer to says you need to make x amount of pay-per-views a year and we need to make x amount of money a year uh bruno lost but he was more popular than lewis no who's a better fighter who's going to go down history as as, as as a great heavyweight lewis are you talking about popularity counts or are you talking about greatness i mean you want to be popular then then, then be a mere be, be a be a be a be a partition or be a i don't know be a celebrity you talk about boxing and you talk about legendary status and hall of fame and being a world champion lewis is the better fighter it's what you want really um clearly looked like he was tip tapping spy an amateur with first few rounds no power in the punches just tapping hooks on the guard i agree uh that's what people are saying Ian Bills, I watch interviews because boxing and fighting is my passion. Fight baseball. I'm addicted to it for my life. Marky B says LOL. Liam Buck is my ex who loved to. Oh dear. You will see my channel. So it's long time no see, mate. Yes, brother. How are you doing? RSS. Sky and HBR are the same. I agree. Notorious boxing. Jab is AJ's best weapon. It's not a very good weapon um liam bucks is very mature not me mate i'm talking about the casuals who see brooke being better now he's lost i can see the scams from a mile away says jim wilson it's a frank bruno model i said earlier i agree brooke is damaged goods yes uh bruno got dropped in the first 20 seconds by tyson lol 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 aj's trainer tiny Sims is a gobshite oh dear Do you think this is best, the right training for AJ? No, I think uh, James Ellen Bashir. I've always said it. Uh, Sims equals Gallagher. Yeah, I think so. Hi all. I missed the Cleverly evaluation. However, must we say Cleverly on the stoppage? Happy days. Cleverly versus Joe Gallagher. Perfect match. Hands up, walk forward. I agree. Um, Ian Bill. Tony Sims don't train him. Robert McCracken does. I agree. On paper, people just think AJ beats Vlad since he's 40, inactive and lost to Fury. That's why they are gambling. 
Plus, I heard Sky Money was not great for a Brazil fight. There we go. Somebody's talking sense in the room. Uh, do you remember Hearn's face after Brazil fight? He looked pissed. He did. Uh, I don't rate Rob or Sims personally. Hello, Arthur Jim Wilson. Marcus W. Wright says, good to have another UK world champion. Seen as we seem to have lost a few recently. The reason why we're losing them is because they're not damn good enough. They're title holders. You have to look at the guys who are true world champions. DeGale, Frampton, Fury. Um, these are three guys who I think are top fighters, top world-class fighters who fight the best and beat the best. That's it. Um, how is AJ Sal better than Klitschko when he was getting out of jab by Dillian Brixton Boy White, ranked 50th in the world? Sims trains Joshua, doesn't he? Rob trains mostly amateurs now. No, he trains Joshua. Well-known fact. So, and uh, we'll see how good Dylan White is when he fights uh, Ian Lewison on the weekend. Because for all the talk of Dylan White, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. His performances, his performances on IFL TV have been amazing of Dylan White. His performances have been top class. He's been very entertaining on IFL TV. But his performances... Apart from the second round against Joshua, have a lot to be desired. His fight against Dave Allen, his fight against uh, the guy before that, backed off or whatever his name was. It wasn't backed off, I don't know what the guy's name was, but that guy from the cruiserweight division. Um, I Even the Brian Minter fight looked terrible. So, is Dillian White shoulder healed? Question mark. I want to see. I listen. I want to know how Dylan White reacts to a losing punch. Because I tell you, Dylan Lewison can punch, right? He can punch. He beat Orlando Solis in the amateurs. He beat Robert Hellenius in the amateurs. He beat David Price in the amateurs. You don't beat those guys in the amateurs if you haven't got a good chin, all right? Um, you know, I think. Um, I don't I don't buy the hype from sorry Dillian's got to beat somebody of note moving forward uh sports media says I don't consider Bramer versus Clevy a genuine world title fight as soon as he fights Warder Kovalev it's over of course it's over does he, he who has Clevy beat to be considered world class he named you one opponent he beat like and you could say Tony Bellew but I didn't think he beat Tony Bellew personally uh, so he says, Notorious Box says, don't disrespect Gil. He will come to your come to the street and fight with you. Be careful. Baylor, do you think who do you think Gigi should fight next? I think Gennady Golovkin should fight Jacobs next. Couldn't it be a VA situation? That's what I think. Um if he's a top heavyweight, he should get rid of that cruiserweight earlier. No offense. I like White. Seems to be a great guy, but I don't see him being world champion. If the fight, if the belts get fragmented, I can see White becoming a world champion. I can see Price becoming a. I can see both guys becoming title holders. Who are you backing, Kovalev or Ward? I think if Co if Ward neutralizes Kovalev, which means he gets on the inside, it's going to be very easy night's work for Ward because Kovalev can't fight on the inside. If Ward is unable to get on the inside, it's Kovalev points. No, Cole left by knockout, Ward by points or knockout. That's why I look at it. What do you think of Billy Joe Saunders versus Gennady Golovkin? Great fight. Great fight for the first six rounds. Billy's got to keep, to beat Gennady Golovkin, you've got to beat him on the back foot, put him on the back foot. Every time you take a step on the back foot, put his arms up, that's when you've got to throw in punches. And as he moves forward, get out of the way, ping the jab in his face, and keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Give Clev some credit. He went to Germany and stopped a fighter who's been on top for a long time. He didn't stop a fight. He didn't stop Jürgen Bremer. Jürgen Bremer got a dislocated shot elbow. He didn't stop Jürgen Bremer. Don't, don't fall into the sky high. He didn't stop Jürgen Bremer. He did not stop Jürgen Bremer. Moving on. Uh, uh, Ian Bill, Kovalev, straight left, nine round KO. 
Okay, well, that's why we look. Ian Buck. <sighs> Dean White to Evzen what tells anyone what he's going to do rather than do it. And he's he says he's respectful. Don't think so. British boxes over height fighting bums over than going over the pond. Okay. Uh Jim Wilson, people think it's because Tyson and Klitschko, Saunders will be Gennady Glovkin. Saunders is not Tyson. He's still a good fighter, but he's terrible stamina. Yeah, down the streets he has. He loses can bang, but as Donald Trump said, he doesn't have stamina. Well, you might only stamina if he bangs about in the first three. Eh? Billy just saw his best sec second best middleweight in the world. I agree. I just see uh GGK on rounds 10 to 12 or GG nice. I so I think later rounds after six is where it, if Gennady's still around after six. I just think when Kelbrook was start throwing them punches, I wonder what would happen if it was a Danny Jacobs or you know a proper genuine middleweight hitting Gennady with them shots. Since when did Rob McCracken train Joshua? I've ever seen Sims in the corner, mate. You need to wake up and smell the roses. Um, might be GGD's first 12 round United position versus Saunders. Might be. Well, that was the outcome of the fight. That was that was not the outcome of the fight. The fight outcome of the fight was he had a dislocated elbow, right? That's the outcome of the fight. Nathan Clever did not stop Jurgen Bremer. Jurgen Bremer had a dislocated out, uh, elbow. That's what was announced. That is not for me a stoppage forced by him uh if you bet is more new what will ggg do i don't know i think billy joe can beat canelo mm. i it's the second half of the fight is where i think canelo comes on strong i think gg would won't box i thought i think gg wouldn't box the brook fight against jacob he said he he said he wanted a street fight before. Yeah, he better have a street fight against Jacobs. He can find himself having a street fight on the canvas. Uh, Saunders always scraps scrapes the win and says he wasn't prepared and can do better. Well, he better be prepared against Gennady Golovkin. Um, Canelo is a tough tough though, but I don't I don't think Saunders can beat Canelo. And even Peter said that GG is such an elite group talent he could do stuff like that. Price still looks an accident waiting to happen. I'm on edge every time I see him in the ring. That's true. I think Jim Wilson uh, says, I think Saunders beats Canelo but gets robbed on the cards. Okay. Um, Jacobs beats Billy Just Saunders, in my opinion. Possibly late stoppage. Okay. I used to like White, but his recent videos have been cringeworthy. His, his claim to fame is one decent performance against Joshua. How can anyone let that go to their head like he has? He had one round. That's it. What are your thoughts on Callum Smith? He is a guy who's going to get serious explosive because name me one what maybe one punch of Callum Smith has fought name me one guy's fought in the top 10 they keep it's like in Callum Smith's contract is like not allowed to fight a puncher not allowed to fight anybody in the top 10 that's what is a Callum Smith and until he and the guy he fought the last guy he fought who was that guy who was he and he made he made he made Callum Smith look bad at times sorry what did Callum Smith achieve as an amateur? Callum Smith is overhyped, I'm telling you. And he does the same crap like, like the rest of the Gallagher's. Hands up, walk forward to the body, walk into the body, left hook to the body. Okay. Wait until somebody stands up to him, punches, starts working him, working him, working his body. He's already getting pushed back in fights already. He ain't fighting nobody you know. Billy just saw these two fights by Christmas. He does. Billy Son is clearly terrified of GGG with all these bolsy call out videos. Can hear the tremor of his voice, says Flat Earth Forex. Jim Wilson, that fat man's, that, that, that fat poor man's pool lift almost landed a massive swinging left on Price earlier today. Did anyone see that? Harley, Harley Marshall says, true, mate. I agree, Ingram. Um, Liam Buck says, Canelo is a massive for his weight. I agree. Groves beat Smith, possibly. But again, I don't rate the gross. Um, I hope Billy Justice beats fights PG and not Canelo. I want to see Undisputed King, last one since Taylor Hopkins. I'm not an overhyped matchroom fighter, Ingram Smith. I agree. Groves got all the Smith's numbers. 
inches as Ian Bill. Gallagher sounds like he's half baked when he says in the corner, tuck up tight, mate. Don't let him shoe shine you, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let him shoe shine you. But he's been shoe shine you of 11 of 12 rounds. Right. Um, right. I, I, I don't want to spend too much time on here tonight, people. And I'll tell you why. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be doing a live show with um, Asgar. We'll be talking about the behind the scenes of Klitschko Fury in the dressing room. What really happened? So we'll be talking about that. Uh, man, uh, this Tyson Fury situation, can we talk about it? I'll just say to Fury, people who are supporters of Tyson Fury, and those people who are haters of Tyson Fury, from the latest news I'm getting, just wait and see what happens. Wait and see if his titles get stripped and find out how his titles get stripped. Gallagher's hope overhyped think Shane McGuigan better. Thoughts Ingram? He's proven it. I I had question marks about Shane McGuigan, but he's proven it at the highest level. Put on a Fram to put on a great performance against Leo Santa Cruz. And you've got to give Shane McGuigan. That's the game plan, Shane McGuigan. They want to just tuck up, move forward, left up to the body. Don't move your head. You saw a specific game plan there. So shout out to Shane McGuigan for that. And I and I I rightly I corrected myself about Shane McGuigan, if you noticed in one of the shows I did previously. Uh, what what you have for dinner tonight, Ingram? Um, well, I'm a vegetarian, so I eat. I'll, I'll have a nice, uh, some nice oven chips and some corn chicken pieces tonight, maybe. Some nice, uh, yeah, chicken pieces. Um, anyone else love food as much as me? I love food. I don't know if I love it as much as you, brother. Eddie Earn is admiring those belts. He's close to them. All he needs is the key. Pick is one of the best trainers in the world. Agreed. Before him, Fury, Fury is getting dropped and rocked by people like Pycheck and Further. That's what it means by having a top class trainer in the corner. Oh, so the second thing is, tomorrow at 4 p.m., I wish I could invite you to it. I really do wish. I really wish, really, really wish I could invite you to this. But tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m., I will be talking to Showtime Boxing's Brian Custer. Yep, the presenter and host of Showtime Boxing is coming to Bayloric TV. So um, if you don't know who Brian Custer is, tomorrow you will. So that's uh, the big names are coming to Bayloric TV, uh, not just from the world of boxing, but we're coming, they're coming to, to Bayloric TV. Um, for those of you who want to know how to watch a live show or know when a live show is, when you go to the subscribe button in the top right hand corner, click on the little bell. That will tell you when all the live shows are. Um, guys, as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to uh, like, share the video. I've just had someone dislike the video, whoever that is. Um, yeah, but yeah, don't forget to write, rate, subscribe. Yeah, oh, by the way, uh, Jim Wilson asked, uh, you asked him why Tyson said F off to Vada. Yeah. And his defense was, oh, it was one in the morning. <laughs> it's all about promoting people these days. So many people get screwed over, says Liam Buck. Um, fair one. I didn't know you were vegetarian. I always wash you up a corn and egg bat, my friend. Yeah, well, let me know when. And uh, I'd be quite happy to come up to your sort boxing and you can rustle me up a nice meal, mate. I'm quite happy for that. Um, Sky demand the, the party line from there. Pundits all for all sports. Best league in the world. It keeps subscribers' brains trust paying on time and in full each month. But every fighter who signs a contract will be told they come anytime. They come anytime. Night pal. Violet said to Floyd and Batman at one in the morning too. They never said F off. Still waiting for John Rawling interview. You'll be waiting a long time for that one, son. Uh, because I've got a pack of interviews still to do. Uh, so we can't excuse him for that, even if it, that's true. Right, I'm out of here. I need to get sleep because I've got two big interviews tomorrow. Wish me all the best with the Brian Custer interview. Brian Custer is, a, for me, a living legend in terms of sports broadcasting. And, uh, yeah, we can get Brian Custer from sport from showtime 
who knows well who else will be coming and check out cool mo d is coming i keep telling you all cool mo d is coming to bayloric tv the grammy award winner is coming to bayloric tv to talk boxing so chill out for that a donny stevens in this interview spoke to donny stevens's camp need a translator for that interview because he doesn't speak very much english would love to get war done yeah i'd love to i think you know i think being in america helps a lot and not being stuck in ireland i mean you got before i finish you gotta give me my dues in a room a bedroom in ireland getting all these interviews i mean come on what time will you be next on we'll be on tomorrow um i think dependent ask i'll probably six o'clock in the evening i'll be talking to um Brian Custer at four, so maybe the interview will be uploaded by five five thirty. Hopefully, we'll have a video interview with Brian Custer as well. So I think that's about it for me. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, leave your comments. Thank you for loving the video. Appreciate it. How come you moved to Ireland at the time studying journalism? Well, I'll finish that now. I'm done with it. So yeah, um, England's a G putting the work in as always. Uh, yes, fair play, bro. You're doing well and proving Bunty wrong. Who's but who's Bunce? Who's he? I'm out of here. By the way, don't forget to stick a ten on it. Stick a ten on Buncey and Pricey. You won't go wrong with that. I'm out. Take care.